Fan Club Thomas, guys, we are back. Put on the put on. <laughs> guys, we are back again for another reaction on the one and only Mr. Lix reaction. Guys, big up all the Mr. Lix YouTube family of definitely tuning in to another reaction video. And of course, the newcomers are there. Big up yourself as well for definitely tuning in to this year reaction video. You see the background and everything different, guys. I shifted my location and what have happened. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyways, guys, we're all lasted right there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate that right there. Give the video a thumbs up. Click. And of course, I'll help the algorithm of YouTube push your videos further and further. And don't forget to check out the link in the first comment in the comment box below as well to download the Mr. Lix Tube app. Of course, that will give a pretty much wide vibrations of content, brothers and sisters, for which I tend to do on my Caribbean channels. And of course, guys, don't forget to definitely click the subscribe button. Not just the thumbs up button, but the subscribe button. And then click the bell and again... Click all so you'll be pretty much notified when I drop all my videos right there and there. Now, guys, you might have been wondering what on earth is going on in this thing. I actually showed this yesterday, guys. And of course, this is it right there. Play. The So apparently freedom for one, but apparently not the same for everybody else. I remember in the previous video, the same live video, guys, that you probably saw or didn't check out or you probably saw yourself, guys. But yeah, um, the same time when she was taken in into police custody for alleged battery, um, I heard an individual uh, on Moon Sewe, I hope I pronounce, I hope I pronounce it properly, Moon Sewe, um saying that do arrest you, you arrest arrest us all guys this is why sometimes your, your words are very powerful right there you have to be mindful of what you say and i understand the sentiment stating that he was walking with and you know and if it's her you have to arrest everybody which would make sense don't arrest some people you have to take all people but of course he was the one stating this and of course maggie was the one on the on the thing and this is maggie today So this is Maggie right there, guys, and of course they came for him for whatever reason. I'm not sure, but um, it seems like uh, from what I, I was told, he was roughed up and taken. What did he just pick up? Oh, his shoes. So they, they, they shackled him and then they took him. Well, it's, I don't know, it's rather interesting that this, this took place, guys, but this is one of the reasons why I always tell people, be careful what they say in terms of these kind of things. Um, do tell them, come arrest you, and then they come arrest you. I guess that's probably why. I have no idea. I didn't get any more information. If you guys know more information on that, let me know that in the comment box below. But of course, this is a reaction, and I'm reacting to this video. I think this is quite crazy right there for them to just be taking Dominicans, and there's crime, actual crime being committed. <laughs> This is one of the things I don't understand. They, this actually happens in the States as well. A police can come to you, think or allege to have made up something saying you did something illegal and you have done nothing illegal. And then the police comes and confronts you and as a result of you not doing anything legal and the police then confronts you and decides to hang, sprang you or whatever, rough you up a little bit and you resisting that vibes, then the police can then charge you for resisting. Or resisting arrest. Arrest for what? No illegal thing, but as a result of you resisting, that's when they come. <laughs> it's stupid. I think it's really stupid. Right there, I think this is why people need to know their rights. Know your rights. But one thing I must tell people, do not, when police come for you and thing, you fight the police in the system. Although sometimes you might, but the system is very corrupt. So you might be saying, might as well take things in my hands. But like I always tell people, one day, People will get fed up. And when people get fed up, then people will start to retaliate against the very thing that is going on. But apparently right now, you know, things seem to be going in one direction. And this is why I'm always telling people to always remain in your right. Make sure you are, you are in your right. So when you are retaliating against these people, make sure you are in your right. 
So if you have to take them to court or anything like that, you will be right and thus be compensated for what you uh, uh, they truly deserve for the foolishness that they have done. Because I don't think the, the, some of these people not, not thinking properly. Not all of them, but some of them not thinking properly and as a result they see the others doing it, so they do it too. Birds of a feather flock together, monkey see, monkey do. But apparently I don't, I, like I said before, I'm not sure what exactly happened as a result of this thing. But they were hands sprung in the man, they were pulling up his pants and all kind of thing. I guess they were trying to handcuff his hands or something. But guys, do not resist. No, don't resist nothing at all. In this situation, do not resist anything at all. Police come for you and thing. They'll say, okay, look me. If they take you and they, they unlawfully arrest you, then you can fight them. I think that is the best way to defeat the tyranny that is going on in the nature of the Caribbean guys. Sometimes you might feel rough up. And the thing is, it's not you that get the training, you know. It's not you that get the training. They get the training for them not to do what they do in there. <laughs> they have to de-escalate the situation, not escalate it. But it seems like people, they are more emotional people dealing you with. It. And the system self, you're trying to find justice in the system. This is why even Maggie Dem was working for justice, peace and prosperity. But it must first start with justice. Justice brings peace. And as a result of peace, peace then peace, peace then brings prosperity. But you know, that's how it goes sometimes in the nature of the Caribbean. But there's something else that actually goes in the nature of the Caribbean and call that lying, blatant, satanic lies, brothers and sisters. Lying like Satan said. <laughs> Guess who we have on, on, on. Guess who we have? Oh, Come to announce to this honorable house. So we're back to the international airport, brothers and sisters. And the reason why I'm showing this. Take a listen to what's, what is going on right there. I am happy to announce to this honorable house that China Railway No. 5 Engineering Group Company, CR5, has been selected as the main contractor for the construction of the international airport. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> we get it the airport. <laughs> wonderful. I have to drink some more. Let me drink some water too. I want to drink some water too, man. <laughs> after you think, after all. I was drunk. But okay. Yes, I guess that is part of the China Railway individuals. Based on the revised project timeline, mm -hmm. the airport will be completed 2026. and commissioned by November 2026. Okay. Just after elections, not true? Something? Maybe? Oh. After today, oh, that was that was a year earlier. Oh, okay, the airport will begin to rise out of the ground. Mm. Rise up on the ground, June 9th, twenty twenty one. It'll rise up from the grounds. It'll be like it, 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 you know them poor angels. Just, well, you probably don't know about these poor angels, but um, it, it'll rise like a phoenix, man. The airport will rise like the phoenix from 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 the earth. And from the ground to the air. <laughs> from the air, we're going to have it. <laughs> Our airport going to be airborne. That's crazy. And I give you the solemn assurance. No pie in the sky promises. That sounds familiar. I heard that somewhere. That planes will land here. Our planes will land on the, the, the flying airport. Direct from Europe oh, and Austra in Australia. United States of America in 2025. 2025, but wait a while. What did he show us? And I give you the solemn assurance. Oh, okay. But the airport will be completed and commissioned by November 2026. Then from the ground, to, and I give you the solemn assurance that planes will land here direct from Europe. And the United States of in what year? In what year? America in 2025. But if it's in 2025, the planes that you assure us will surely land there, will land there. But the airport is going to finish in 2026. Are you talking about Manville Hall Airport? I mean, he didn't specify the international airport, eh? so <laughs> you have to keep that in mind. He didn't specify. June 9th, 2021. Okay. That's when they signed him. Why is his name? Why is his name again? 
Bon Fared. No, no, no. Anthony Eden are there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Who's that? Um, that is um, that is um, Scotland. Susie Sell. Changing books. Took my pinky up and down. Reggie. Wait a while. So that was 2021 and this is 2014. Once we win this election tomorrow, tomorrow that is December 8th, 2020, 2014. We will see the start of work on a new international airport. We we saw that now? We we saw that now guys? I, I don't remember seeing that now. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just me, man. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Big up to keep it real, 767. They tend to keep it real, eh? Big up on that one. To be continued. <laughs> we have more promises. <laughs> they should have include. This is not spy in the sky promises. They should have said that. Anyways, guys, this is 2022, eh? This is Lennox Linton. This is this is Lennox Linton. This is why I like Lennox. <laughs> I like Lennox. <laughs> the boy does bring things to you. <laughs> that you ah, yeah, yeah. I like the boy. <laughs> Big up Lennox one time. But, anyways, listen to this guy. Hmm. Like, see fellas, hold on. <laughs> fellas, brush up their shoulders, see what? <laughs> you should have dos. Dos. He tough, man. Yes, listen to what him say, uncle saying there. Or the other uncle. 1,000 US dollars. 1,000 US dollars. Going to any member on the other side. Mm -hmm. Who will in their presentation mm -hmm. point out where in these 441 pages of the estimate well, wait a while that is plenty pages eh that is plenty pages eh 441 pages are they are they are they are they double double faced pages so one day two day or is it one two three is there any mention of work to be done or provision of money for work to be done on an international airport in the next three financial years. <laughs> Once we win this election tomorrow, we will see the start of work on a new international airport. 2014. Twenty twenty one. And I give you the solemn assurance. Solemn assurance, okay. Alright then, alright. But um what Lennox say there? Who will in their presentation go into any member on the other side? Who no, will we in have their to presentation? Put the man. One thousand. One thousand, not easy dollars, you know, Mark. Not easy dollars. I myself want to go in that thing for me to find it. <laughs> One thousand. But you see, it's the people are there, so I wouldn't be able to get it. I would, I would, I would, I would have tried my best to find it. Really. I might even write it in the book, eh? <laughs> write it in the book for me to say, look in there. You didn't say you couldn't write or do write it. Eh? I, 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 <laughs> going to any member on the other side hmm. who will in their presentation point out where in these 441 pages of the estimate hmm. is there any mention of work to be done. Work to be done. Or provision of money for work to be done. Or provision of money for work to be done. So is it a work to be done or provision of money of work to be done? On an international airport. On any international airport. You should say on any international airport in Dominica because by now we should have at least 12 to 13 international airports. Man should be flying from from Pluto to come to Dominica. Man should be flying. We should have a, a, a what do you call that again? An astronaut, a, 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 a space station. We, we should have a space station at present, brothers and sisters. The way we, we build so much international airport already. We should have a space station. Rocket. We should have the first um, 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 space, not space station. We should have the first um, 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 
Yeah. What are you going to do again? I forget. The astronaut, where they, where they, where they, they rock it, rock it. We should have the first rocket launcher. <laughs> we should have the first rocket launcher to go to the moon. Hey, I just talk nonsense, you boy. In the next three financial years, according to the public sector investment program. So, so, so none of that inside there. None of that inside there. That is the twenty two no oh, oh that is the twenty nineteen to twenty twenty estimates. Oh, I thought it was the twenty twenty two, but it's interesting to find out that in the next three years, twenty twenty one, twenty twenty two, twenty twenty three, of work to be done. What work has been done to the airport guys? I know they were clearing up some things then that in the estimates true. In the next three years, let's say it's twenty nineteen. Because I try to give, I try to give the benefit of the doubt there. The government, the government does lie so much. We have to try to bend the reality. So 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. No man, that, let's go back more. So you're giving an additional year. Let's say 2020, even though it's the estimate is for 2019 to 2020. Okay. So 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. So maybe in the, in the, maybe in the 2023, we might see Brazil. Maybe in 2023. Because we clearly haven't seen anything at all. And from what I've seen, I don't know what kind of international airport they build in there. Because the road doing the, the ground doing that shoop, 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 the, I, well hmm. Well, I guess that is how it is, Papa. Today's society. So that the whole isn't that our end. We're all is sinking on the same ship. We drive over there, they feel any the pressure there. Just like the folks over there. They feeling the pressure there, you know. They feeling the pressure there. This is where they are. And the others feeling like nothing happening to them until it reached their side. Not for them to try to help. You no, know, throw the water fast for hands to throw it out. No, man. You're glad it's not on our side. Be a Ted Kalbas. And of course, the ringleader himself. First time, Brother Skero. Stalin once ripped all the feathers of a live chicken and a as a lesson to his followers, brothers and sisters, as a lesson to his followers, he ripped off the feathers of the chickens. Well, a chicken, not chickens, that's plural. Chicken, singular. He then set that chicken on the floor a short distance away. The chicken was, you know, in a state and suffering immensely. Yet when Stalin began to toss some bits of wheat towards the chicken, it followed him around. <laughs> the breadcrumbs that they are giving the Dominican people. From time to time, lying to them consistently and effectively and efficiently. No matter what you do, that chicken, no matter what you do, Dominicans, once you give them the breadcrumbs, they will come back in. So Stalin tossed some bits of wits towards the chicken because he know that's what the chicken like. It followed him around even though he, he did some wickedness to the chicken. He said to his followers, this is how easy it is to govern stupid people. They will follow you no matter how much pain you cause them. As long as you throw them a little worthless treat once in a while. They call that the breadcrumb. They call that the breadcrumb mentality. And people seem to be in love with the breadcrumb mentality. No matter how much you tell them, they will still tell you, no man, it's hope I have. There is no greater hope on planet Earth that labor rights than labor rights. There is no <laughs> Christianity do have this kind of hope labor rights have. I'm telling you. And Christian, you have the faith in everything, just hoping for things to get better. Yes, we know that there's a coming. We know that Yeshua is coming back. The hope that is definitely coming back in truth. But there is no greater hope, I, I, I tell you, no greater hope that labor rights have. Oh, we should aspire to have this kind of hope that labor rights have, eh? because, I, <laughs> hey, hey, I tell you, listen to these guys. But I am reminded by the, by the words of Dominica's most popular entertainer, uh, Suki Burnbury. <laughs> I had a power breakfast. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so, 
I, I do hope that the poor breakfast will continue through. So while he's giving you breadcrumbs, he's having his poor breakfast. Interesting stuff. And he definitely has a few poor breakfasts, I mean, considering the mansion that is being built right now. But what does Mr. X know, right? But talking about Suki right there, guys. There's another situation that happened with Suki. Suki is back. Back in prison, brothers and sisters. Suki, the entertainer, arrested for threats on battery on a female. And it's rather interesting, the story that is happening right there. And of course, this is, I think, this is a Nature Island News who gave this information. You can go and search that for yourself. Type this headline in and you will get to see the vibrations. But of course, it reads, Shane Edwards, of course, a popular artist known as Suki, appeared before the magistrate court charged with battery on a female and also threats made on that same individual right there. He pleaded not guilty to both charges. He said he didn't do it. No, he didn't. I didn't beat nobody. I didn't threaten nobody. No. <laughs> The prosecution is alleged, alleging that at, on September 7th, 2022, that's about two days ago, guys, uh, at Rozo, he, the Suki the artist, did beat a female. Interesting. They're alleging this right there, right? They also allege that on the same day, he made more threats to the woman, said, I have to, you know, what is written right there. He pleaded not guilty to both charges and said he will rep represent himself. Well, the fact that you're going to represent yourself, that is a, a problem already. That is a problem already. You, I uh, don't think you should represent yourself. You should always... Some people can. I mean, I know I, I know certain things, but I would not take the chance to represent myself. I mean, I can probably defend myself in... You know, but you always need a proper representative to help you. Because you need to know the laws and how things work. Okay, all right, Suki. Uh, I don't know how your managers then feel about it, making you go and represent yourself. But um, I don't think that will end well. This, the prosecution led by, of course, this in individual Laville right there did not object to bail, but asked for a proper surety. However, Suki told the court that he did not have anyone. So apparently everybody, everybody seemed to bail him out. Everybody seemed to have bail on, on him right there. Maybe I'm thinking of the organizers who have tried their best to work with him and constantly working with him over and over and over and he keeps dropping back and you know from time to time going back and what have you that could be the case and they say well this time you have to pay it eh? you have to you have to go through this one on your own you doesn't learn well maybe you learn this time because you constantly bail it out maybe that's what they thought to themselves that is why he said that he wants to represent himself but of course the prosecution wants a proper surety of a Suki Toloko that he did not have anyone to bail him out and ask for he, for self bail. He wanted self bail. Have the money now, you know. Oh, your honor. I am a musical artist. Can you grant me bail on my own recogn recognizance? He know that he know, well, anyways, let me leave there. Please, I can sign every day. I have so much money to make, Suki is saying. So you didn't know you have so much money to make before you do before you are it's alleged that you did this, Suki. I mean, come on. He also told the court that he has a mental issue and needs some evaluation. One thing I notice when it comes down to Dominica, some people like to do walking for mental health and all kind of thing. Who is helping Suki? Remember all those walks that they have saying they walk in from Kenfield to, 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 to Te Plata, wherever they walk in, I don't know. But they walk in and pass Rose one and so forth and they stop in, well, they don't pass Rose, but they stop in Bayfront and talking about they walking for mental health. Who is helping Suki? The very government himself mentioned about the poor breakfast Suki talking about. Are you helping Suki, sir? I mean, even mentioned that very thing. Suki was one of the individuals who got popularity based on some crazy song he was singing, but still popularity nonetheless does people know it about Dominica. True or false? And as a result of that, World Crime Music Festival is coming up. Definitely as a result of Suki, more people will want to come to Dominica as a result of that. And maybe during the time that they dare, I know Suki is not performing in, in, in thing. Maybe you perform on the outside stage. Who knows this kind of things there? It's a possibility. Or when there's events, outside events from the World Crime Festival might perform and other people might come through to see Suki, you know, do his thing and what have you. But apparently he's not going to be out because, you know, he has been informed by the magistrate that he is of some mind. And that was not necessary at all. Bail is open to you, but you need a proper surety to bail you in the meantime. You are reminded until December 15, 2022. The date for a trial is December 6, 2022. So until somebody decides to come and bail him, he will be inside there until December 6. Remanded with. He'll be remanded until December 15th.
Okay, so he'll be there till December 15th until he, um, and of course, come on, on the 6th for his trial. And I'm not excusing Suki. If he did this, he needs to stop his dirty ways. You cannot be doing those things. This is why I always tell people, always be in your right. Because if you're in the wrong and the lady decides, you know what, let me sue you for some money for doing me something. And she gets a little something, it's money you lose there. Money you lose, not she, but you that losing and you want to come and making money on the other hand. He says that he has a mental issue and it's clear that he has some difficulties, he was doing drugs, there must be some sort of mental issue there. I don't understand how the, 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 the um, 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 magistrate didn't see that. He might be in some mind, but he's in and out. He could be having an episode and decided to do this girl something. It's mental issues, you know. Sometimes you do actions that you don't want to do or based off certain, certain, certain electrical thing that not firing properly in your brain. You just get frustrated and you, you act who knows what took place as a result of that. But the man is asking for help. Instead of putting him inside I'm, 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 I'm jail, you should have put him in an in a, in a, in a institute. To get some help. You mean to tell me we're so backward that we know somebody asking for help even though we know that person needs help. I mean that is one of the things that they did for him in St. Martin before I think they did it in Guadeloupe before he came to St. Martin. They put him in a thing for five days and they, they tried to help him out and then he came and did his thing. You mean to tell me other people doing it for, for, for your people and you not doing it for your own people. You send him in jail. You think he can get better in jail? Huh? You think you can get better in jail, people? What can I say now? Sometimes your own people are the ones that keeping you down. This is why sometimes it's even better to find outsiders. I know. Guys, look. look. I know. <laughs> I know. Whoa. Oh, I frightened. Anyways, guys, there's another thing right there. And I think this guy, this guy needs to be in jail right there. This guy. This guy, who knows, he might need some mental help, but he don't complain about mental health, he might just be wicked. Apparently, there's a predator out there, and of course, I have, I was, I got this before, but I didn't have any evidence to say I'm putting this out there to put somebody face out there. But apparently, this is what individuals are saying. There's a predator out there. This disgusting individual is, of course, roaming the streets of Roseau, looking for an opportunity to take advantage of somebody as little person while sitting on a bus and ate your little one, daughter, was passing and of course well no while sitting on the bus the little one uh the, this person's little one told them that there was a creepy man outside who was pulling out his thing and shaking it for her while looking directly in her eyes i think i think that person probably put that part there directly in my eyes maybe well i don't know the little eight year old saying mommy looking directly in my eyes i don't think maybe that person had that part but anyways i confronted him and was shocked to find out from bystanders that this is not the first time he has done these kind of things. Apparently, he hangs around this area waiting for unsuspected young little ones to show his little things right there. I am in the process of filing a police report, which I think you need to do. Hoping that this will help um, in getting him off the streets and maybe getting some help, mental help, because that is my, that could be or he just weak himself. It could be his wickedness. I think that is the difference when it comes down to Suki. Suki literally asking for help. He had his little spurs, especially when we saw him in the airport doing his craziness right there. And then he came back and asked for forgiveness and the, the, these people did forgive him. Anyways, I'm a, anyways, the person said, I'm not holding my breath now. This is the state that we are in in the HL of the Caribbean. I'm not holding my breath for the police them to come and, and, and do something about it. And I heard that this guy is still, it's out, still outside. Yet still we're going after people like this. We're going after them. Ah, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Anyways, guys, this is a video right there. I had to blow out certain, certain parts of it right there, guys. So, apparently, he was playing ping pong, brothers and sisters. He was playing ping pong, and this is what he decides to do right there. I had to blow. I couldn't put this that on YouTube. YouTube would beat me if I have to come and put that out there. You're crazy or something. And you're out there doing these things, and no police coming and get you. No police come and get you. Oh, that, is, that is what we like. No, 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 that's what we like, guys. I think if we really care about the young people, we need to do something about it. I'm, I'm not old, I sound like I'm old, but <laughs> we need to do something about it. The little, the little people, 
eight year old daughter should be made innocent in these things. She shouldn't see these things. Guys, what are your thoughts, man? What are your thoughts, man? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. This is pretty much all the boy I has for this year reaction video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Give this video a thumbs up.